Hi guys, uh, this is Amar and welcome to Amar Tech Stuff. Guys, in this video, we'll focus on uh, some of the Cisco iOS tricky commands. Uh, these are the commands which I find very useful and I'm very sure that uh, after watching this video, you will also find these commands very useful if you are really working a lot on Cisco iOS. So guys, let's start with the very first command. I'll take the console of the router. The very first command which I want to show you is uh, show archive uh, config differences. Uh, guys, this command basically shows you the uh, difference between the running configuration and the startup configuration. So currently there is no uh, difference between the running configuration and startup configuration because uh, I just copied uh, the running configuration to the startup configuration. So here you can see that there are no changes were found. So what I'll do is I'll make some changes. What I'll do is I'll configure, uh, say I have an interface or I'll configure a loopback interface say. I'll configure a loopback interface say 100. I'll give it an IP address uh, 100.0.0.1. 255.255.255.0 and I'll give the description as uh, test. Now, now guys, if I give this command show archive archive config differences. Now see. Now guys, here you can see that there is a config difference. The config difference is uh, that I have configured loopback 100 uh, given your description and the IP addresses. So this is this configuration which I have made in the running configuration. So this is the difference between the running configuration and startup configuration because whatever configuration you do, you do it in the running configuration and once you uh, copy the running configuration into the startup configuration, uh, then you won't see any difference uh, in the configuration. So do, I'll do the same thing. I'll just copy. Now WR is the command of to copy the running configuration into the startup configuration and it is taking some time. Now, now guys we'll check. See there is no changes were found. So guys this is a, a useful command. Uh, another useful command uh, which I would like to show you is uh, IP access list resequence. Uh, guys if you go on this router if you check I have created an access list named Cisco ACL. So I'll just show you here show IP access list uh, Cisco ACL. Now guys here if you see uh, the sequence numbers of the access a control list entries are here. These are the sequence number. Now the very first sequence number is 5, the second sequence number is 8, the third is 20, the fourth one is 35 and the, the other one is 41. So guys here you can see the sequence number uh, is starting with 5 and the and the uh, interval between the sequence number is not uniform. Okay, So we can do it because you know looking at this ACL, this ACL doesn't look that that good. So we will make the, uh, what we'll do is we we'll can make uh, the very first entry sequence number as 10 and also we can keep uh, the the uh, uniform interval between them. So let's, uh, let's, uh, let's do it like uh, keeping the uh, sequence number as uh, the starting sequence number as 10 and the interval between the sequence number also as 10. So you can do it by using this command that is IP access list resequence name of the access list. So the name of the access list is coacl. Here is give you the starting sequence. You can keep any sequence number you want starting with 1 to this number. This, this is huge number. So I want a sequence number to start from 10 and the interval, the increment between the sequence number has also 10. Now let's check our access list. Now here guys, this is what we have achieved. The starting sequence number is 10 and the interval between the sequence number is also 10. Uh, the, the third command which I want to show you is, uh, is reload in and reload at. Uh, reload in command and reload at command are the commands by using which you can schedule the reload of the router. Uh, like if I do like reload in, 
I, if I want uh, this router to reload in next uh, 5 hours and 30 minutes, I'll just give the reason as test. Yes. So actually I have uh, given this command reload in and I have scheduled an automatic reload of the router. Fine. So proceed with reload. Yes, it won't reload now, but it will reload after. 5 hours and 30 minutes you can see the reload is scheduled at 1620 and this is the time the reload will be done in 5 hours and 29 minutes so this is how you can schedule a reload you can even cancel the reload by using this command reload cancel okay now if you check show reload there is no reload scheduled again you can also schedule the reload at particular date at a particular time also if you give this command let's just check the time first of all the time is 8th July and it is 10.51. Uh, so I'll schedule a reload at, um, at 9 a.m. in the morning. And uh, I need to, today is the 8th of July. So I'll schedule it somewhere around 11th of July. If you see, 11th of July. And the reason is again, I'll give a test. Confirm it, yes. Now if you check show reload, here is that. Uh, the reload is going to be on 11th of July, 2019 at nine in the morning. So guys, in this way, you can schedule the reload by using reload in and reload at command. So just cancel this reloads. To cancel this Jodhith command is very simple reload cancel and then make sure you have cancelled the reload yes there's no reload scheduled uh, guys another command uh, which i find very useful is the allies commands the allies commands are very uh, useful in the sense it saves some time for example like if i give this command a lot at a show ip int brief and you know, i have typed the command completely so i'll, I'll keep an allies for this command uh, to configure that we need to go in the configuration mode and here you need to give allies and I need to keep an allies a word or something like that a letter or something like that so I'll keep it as s and followed by show ip in brief okay now instead of giving the complete command show ip in brief even if I give s is going to show me the output of show IP in brief. Uh, I can also show you some other command like um, this. This is the, the same command like for the for the other command. Uh, allies I'll keep allies as uh, Amar for show running configuration. Now if I type here Amar, it's going to show me the show running configuration so guys in this way uh, you can again analyze the commands which you use often on your routers and switches uh, the other command which i find very useful especially while troubleshooting is uh, show processes cpu sorted now guys, this command is very useful because it gives you uh, it shows you the processes which are currently running and uh, and then at what percentage they are actually utilizing the CPU. Uh, again, you will see a lot of a lot of uh, processes running. So if you want to exclude the processes which are using nothing, which are which are using zero percent of your CPU, you can do it in the same way. But showing a lot of lot of processes which are running currently on my on my router. So this is the command show processes CPU sorted pipe exclude zero dot zero zero. Uh, it will show you the processes the only pr the processes only which are utilizing the cpu so these are the two processes which are actually currently use utilizing the cpu so guys these are the few commands uh, which are which i find very useful i uh, hope you also try these commands on your routers uh, guys i hope you like this video if you really like this video guys please do share uh, this video comment on the same or uh, please subscribe to our tech stuff uh, I will catch up in the next video. I will come up with more useful commands in set number 2. This was set number 1. Uh, so, guys, catch you in the next video. Thank you.